just a battle today, Claire. Uh, the, the wind was something to deal with. Uh, obviously a very good opponent coming in. Uh, why are you proud of the team's performance? I'm proud because, I mean, we know SP was like ranked nationally. Um, and the biggest thing that we said coming into this was be brave. You know, it's really easy to come into a game like this and be intimidated and let that just get you from the start. But this team fought hard the entire time into double overtime. And I just couldn't be more proud of that fight. Sort of a theme uh, of this team uh, season long. A, a tough game Thursday, you guys bounce right back. In this case, you know, a, a bad loss at their place earlier in the season, but um, that didn't stop you guys today. What does that say about the team? Just the toughness, the ability to bounce back. Yeah, so towards the end of the, or beginning of the semester, we talked about um, kind of defining the team. And part of our identity is resilience this year. Um, and I think it really shows that the team has worked hard to encapsulate that. They've thought about it, what that means to people at a personal level, what it means at a team level, you know, how to deal with hard losses, how to deal with hard opponents. And that's something you need in the GNAC, that's something you need in soccer. Um, and so I think it shows when you put the effort into that sort of mental part um, and the identity of a team that it really comes to the future. You just faced constant pressure today. How do you, how do you do it? How do you stay focused? How do you keep your calm when you're facing shots, and particularly the end of regulation there? They had a couple of back-to-back -back shots from point-blank range that you just bounced up and made saves on. Uh, take me through that mindset as a goalie. Um, I really think focusing on like the mentality portion of the game was the biggest thing for me. Uh, you know, for me, like mindfulness is really important to the game. Um, so for me, it's easy as like touch my cleats, like you wipe off like the last save, something else. You know, you reset. So you're always like present in the game. You know, whether whatever that had happened before was good, bad, you have to be in the moment. Um, that's a huge part of goalkeeping. So that mindfulness is really important to me. I'm super proud of my team, I think. We came out here battling hard and of course we had the chip on our shoulder because of the last game. But I think we all showed up and really fought hard to produce the result today. And I definitely think this is a team we can be in the playoffs. Talk about the way you started this match. I mean, just energy from the get-go really came out on the front foot. What was uh, the mindset going in? And talk about the way you started. Yeah, I think we just wanted to come out with energy and you know show them that we're not a team to be messed with and just come out strong. And you scored uh, the the lone goal for the team in, in the match. A pass from Layla Clark that you took a touch past your defender. Talk about that play and um, the goal that you scored. First of all, I just want to highlight Layla because that ball was like an impossible through ball and she just slipped it right in perfectly. And then um, I just tried to find an opening and it happened to be right through the keeper's legs. So yeah, I was very happy about it. Uh, give some credit to your back line. Give some credit to Claire Keenan in goal. And she, she shows up every game and makes some amazing saves and did yeah. it again today. She saves us every game. <laughs> Now your thoughts on uh, getting some momentum. I mean, it's a draw and double overtime. You guys stay undefeated in overtime. Uh, not a victory, but certainly a morale boost after a tough loss. Thursday, you guys bounce back yet again and get ready to go on the road. Yeah, I think um, we just really had to dig deep for that because it's not easy to play 20 extra minutes in the game. And I think all of us, you know, we didn't get tired. We stayed strong and held our line. And the back line did phenomenal. Player made amazing. Yeah, the team, it, it's, every game is a character test in this conference. Um, we really uh, tried to create a, a game plan that we played our best strengths against uh, against very strong SP team. Um, trying to frustrate them, trying to keep them off the scoreboard as long as possible. So I'm definitely very proud of the team for responding to a disappointing loss uh, against NNU on Thursday. Coming out, um, scoring against SPU, leading them for uh, almost the majority of the game, two-thirds of the game. Um, and so it's a little disappointing not to move that way with three obviously an incredible victory, um, but uh, thanks to our goalkeeper Claire, we were able to get a point from the game. You, you can hear the wind right now, you can feel it. it, it's so frustrating, it's something that both teams obviously have to deal with. Do you, yeah. do you try to ignore it, do you try to just play through it, how does that impact the game? I always hope to try to play with it uh, to start, I mean it just makes it so much harder to clear your lines, I mean even just running, you're running against the wind, it just, it's like you have to work twice as hard, so you know we do train in this all the time, uh, it's windy out here in, in Montana for those that don't know. Um, and so we really uh, kind of aren't bothered by it. It just makes for an unpredictable game. And um, it was 
clear the team in this the team that had the win or was playing with the win in the halves um, made you know had more chances um, looked more dangerous and so we had to go through a, a tough 45 minutes in the second half against SPU uh, that way and then the final overtime as well trying to hold them off um, to, to see out a point. If you had to pick one player who's most affected by the win, you, you could argue it's the goalkeeper. Yes. Uh, Claire Keenan once again shining through uh, with her distribution, but yeah. also um, in the saves department, especially in the regulation there, those two back-to-back -back saves, but overall just a, another stellar performance. Yeah, it was fantastic from her today. She's the reason why we got something from this game. Um, she made a great double save. Can't wait to see that on film and, and watch that again. Um, she did great handling, like, the, it's hard kicking against the win. Um, and we asked her to be specific about playing it wide, and she did a great job with that. Her foot through it and um, ended up uh, really helping us today and really proud of her performance. Liberty Palmer leads the team in scoring, and it's her goal that holds up to get you the, the point as well. It came early, great through ball from Layla Clark, and a savvy touch by Liberty to create that space. Yeah, Liberty's been really hard on herself. I, you know, she took the game on Thursday, had a, a similar chance. Um, that goalkeeper makes a great save against NNU, and we just keep reminding her you're getting in the right spots, and those finishes will come. Um, we made a move to, to put her more centrally uh, for basically the exact hoping for the exact play that she was able to finish. So I'm really proud of her for sticking with it. And I mean, four goals from a freshman is, is a great stat line, and hopefully she's got more to come.